So the truck is not stuck. I just have decided to park it there in a weird place. However, I did have a little drama earlier here. It turns out the county road continues beyond what I thought was the dead end point that I found last night. The road just uh, makes a little sidestep that I didn't spot before. And so it comes down to this culvert, goes to the other side, and um, works its way over to Chappelle. But uh, I went to the other side of the culvert, there's nothing there. There's no road, it's impassable after the culvert. So I backed out of the culvert and uh, found that this material here is very light and loose, and I couldn't really get through it. So it seemed like one option was to get a little momentum and come back far enough to be able to make a three-point turn here. Only I went a little too far into this really loose crap and uh, got stuck there and kind of just uh, dug myself in. Fortunately, the pickup truck was not in four-wheel drive mode. I uh, discovered how to put it in four-wheel drive mode and extracting myself wasn't completely uneventful, but I got out. So the train is uh, going to be leaving Las Vegas in about 30 minutes. So I've got about 45 minutes to an hour to set up. I hope that the sun decides to come out because I'm sure as hell not coming back here again. And uh, I'm just going to make do this in one trip. I'm definitely not doing two trips. I'm up on the embankment now. I'd say I gained about 30, 30 or 40 feet of elevation. But this material here is very slippery. Not slippery, loose. So it's kind of classic monkey in a well. One step forward and three steps forward and two steps back. <laughs> that kind of thing. There's footprints here, so somebody else has been out here to photograph these semaphores or for some other reason. But there they are. So I'm just hoping that suddenly the sky opens up and I've got a nice bright sun. So here I am at the very difficult to reach semaphore signal. 785 maybe. I don't have my glasses on. Anyhow, so there's a nice stretch of track beyond the signals there. Not sure how much film I want to spend on that. And uh, if the sun comes out, I'm on the wrong side of the track. The um, I like the shot though. I can't get a shot like this from the other side of the track. So, the area's all set up. And I'm just going to take my backpacks over there. I'm going to take some still pictures while I wait for the train, which I gather is about between 30 minutes and an hour away. Neither of the signals have dropped yet, so it'll be a while. I think I'm going to send a uh, friendly letter to the BNSF Railroad suggesting that they install benches near their semaphores on a temporary basis, of course, only until the semaphores are gone. It's really a drag to hike out to these things and then have nowhere to sit but dirt. It sort of snuck up on me. We went straight from vertical to horizontal. I don't think there was a 45 degree um, indication in between those two. So that pretty much means that the train's at 781. Maybe Wichita siding. But so worst case it's five miles away. Wait, Ojita's it I don't remember what OG was, was it 777? Anyhow. So 781 obviously is four miles away. I don't remember what the west end of Ojita was. Anyhow, just waiting for the train. Here we go. 32 feet. Wish I'd started it earlier.
So I wish I'd started rolling a little earlier on that last run by. The train appeared to be going rather slow and I didn't want to burn up a ton of film while it climbed that grade. Well, originally my plan was to turn it on at the uh, minimum elevation there. There was a downgrade and then there's kind of an upgrade to here. And uh, I was going to turn it on right at the bottom. But then I reconsidered and thought maybe it would be nice to have a longer shot. And um, But then when the train turned up, it seemed to be going awfully slow. And I didn't want to um, film the train going down the hill and up the hill and use most of my roll doing that. But it turned out it was going a little faster than I thought it was. It's raining now, just a little bit. I'm sure it won't last very long. But I've got my hat on the airy. I should probably throw my jacket over it, but I kind of like having a jacket on while it's raining. So one important attribute of this location is that when the eastbound train goes through here, the sunlight is on the right side of the train and uh, at my back, so we would have perfect lighting on the semaphore and on the right side of the train. However, that benefit is only available on days when there's sun. And uh, the fact that there's clouds frustrates me a little bit because it means I went to all the effort of getting up here, but I'm not reaping the benefits of the great lighting today. But it's not all bad news. There's some blue sky opening up in the background, so at least, at least we got that. So the sun's come out. Fortunately, both uh, signals are vertical, which means the train is nowhere nearby. Imagine, I don't know what to imagine. Murphy's law of photography seems to suggest that there will be clouds when the train is here. But you never know. Maybe I'll get lucky. So the blade's at 45 degrees. And I'm hearing a lot of train horns, which makes sense because there are a bunch of crossings at Bernal, and then there's the crossing at Chappelle, and a couple ranch crossings. So let's see, the next signal west of here is the Chappelle siding, and the one after that is Bernal. So I guess it's just... hear that? It's just west of Bernal right now, perhaps. All right, so this is the first time this train is gonna be on time. Boy, I hope this sun holds. Look at that, there's sun on the signals. Blue sky in the background. No way that's gonna hold. So the horns uh, sure do echo through this valley very nicely. However, turning on the camera seems to have silenced the horns. Okay, that thing should go horizontal soon. Look at that. I see the future. All right, so that means it's at the Chappelle siding, about two or three miles away. Still recording. Okay, lens caps off, viewfinder shutters closed, powered up. Just 
hope that sun holds. I had something to put my camera on. I'll be damned if I was going to carry another tripod up here, though. Here it comes. Come on, sun, hold that sun. The reason my frame is so unsteady is I keep looking over my shoulder. There it is. And start. Yes, the sun held. This is just fantastic. Light. Oh! I just had a semaphore orgasm. Holy crap! Whew. So I'm gonna stick around until the blade's vertical again. I got a shot of it at 45. I'm gonna wait for it to go vertical and then I'll get a shot. And then I just have to walk out of here and then not get stuck in the dirt in the pickup truck on the way out of here. <sighs> wow, I'm really glad I walked up here. I just got incredibly lucky at, at exactly the right moment. The, Sky opened up and I got some blue sky and uh, got some sunlight on my back and uh, wow, that was lucky. Well, I made it back down to my ride. So, I'd call this a successful mission. I got exactly what I wanted. I don't think I'm going to go up there again, unless maybe 50 years from now they realize the artistic mistake they've made by removing the semaphores and they decide to erect them again. So when that happens, I'll climb that sandy embankment and walk down to the signals. Alrighty, that's the end of this story. Okay, so I guess that's not quite the end of the story. I still need to get out of here. So I'm in four-wheel drive. That's why we were looking at the floor. Whoa, got to hold on to my airy. This isn't going to work. I can't steer and hold on to the airy and make a video at the same time. Or can I? Let's think about this. What if I hold it in my mouth? My mouth's not big enough. I think we'll just have to go with the flailing camera. All right. No amount of image stabilization is gonna smooth this ride out. The knee steering seems to work pretty well. It's all fine until somebody loses an eye. Or is it fun? Okay, I'm putting my camera down for this.
Jesus Christ. The trick there, which is right side up, <laughs> the trick there was, uh, the problem there was, there were two kind of elevated tracks and then two gullies, and as as you might anticipate, it was, okay, camera's going down again. As you might anticipate, it was kind of hard to stay on the uh, elevated portion and not fall into the gullies. Safe. We're safe again. Actually, it was a smooth ride. All that swearing was just to make it seem like it was bumpy. No evidence whatsoever to suggest that it might have been bumpy. Is there? Man. All right. So there is the spot that I thought was the dead end last night. There's a cow pie. All right. So here's the. Here's the side step or the junction or whatever that I missed. Good God. All right, you okay camera? So. Oh. I'm sweating and I can't hold onto the camera well because I'm sweating so much. To stop and grab a picture of this scene here. Ah. 